Hey guys, I wanted to come on here and talk about this story involving a 29 year old woman who was said to be horrified after discovering that blue light from her mobile phone and computer screens actually damaged her skin, which now requires her to wear SPF indoors. And I bet you guys can guess what group of people she comes from because there's only a certain demographic of people who have these issues where any type of UV rays, whether it's coming from indoor lights, tanning beds, or the sun, or being in planes, they have to worry about damage to their skin. So in this case, she actually found out that her phone and the blue light from it was actually causing her skin damage. And everyone's cell phone has blue light. There's even a blue light filter in the settings of your phone. If you go to the settings of your phone, you have actually a search box. And if you search within that and put in blue light, it will tell you about the blue light filter and how it's supposed to reduce strain on your eyes. The same thing comes in computers. But what they don't tell you, apparently, based on her experience, is that you can be burned and get skin damage from the blue lights as well. But they're saying that doctors warn that even taking a selfie can emit the light that could age your face. Now that tells you a lot about this demographic of people because I don't think that people who are heavily eumelanated or eumelanated in general are worried about whether or not they will be burned from their cell phones or whether the light from the cell phone is going to age their face. Keep in mind these are the, the descendants of ancient Egyptians who spent hours in the sweltering heat of Egypt that gets up to 120 degrees with no sunscreen on and were able to do this. However, based on their theory of evolution, you can say that this group of people have actually devolved because they can't even go out in 60 degree weather without sunscreen, least they burn. Now that's not to say it's happening to every last one of them, but if you look at the rates of skin cancer, it will be highest in their community. Now, I know a lot of people in our community are going to feel compelled to say we get sunburned too and we have these issues and fine. If you feel the need to say that this is the issue that you suffer from, then please only restrict it to yourself. Do not speak for other people because I've never seen anyone in our demographic having this issue. And so this woman, again, is 29 and she revealed her horror, according to the Daily Mail, at discovering how badly HEV light, which is blue light, and is emitted from mobile phones and computer screens, had aged her skin. Her name is Bianca Knight, and she's an assistant manager from Surrey. And she uncovered the damage when she started working in the cosmetics industry and decided to take a brown scale surface pigment test. And you guys should know what that test is. If you look at the images here, this is actually what the brown scale um test would ultimately reveal and you can see in her case in the photo on the left it actually showed the skin damage now due to the fact that she was using sunscreen indoors it lessened the amount of damage to her skin but you can see how how much it damaged her skin but in any event she was also horrified to found, find out how aging everyday task could be such as using a phone, watching TV, or working on a computer due to blue light, also known as HEV light. Now, the reason why this is because all lights emit UV rays. And it's the UV rays that is most problematic to them rather than the heat. Because most people think that, oh, because it's hot outside and the sun is present, then that's what's emitting the UV rays. But it can be a cloudy day. It can be a cold, sunny day. No heat in sight. But there will be UV rays that will be either causing burning or skin aging. And so this is something that they have that is nearly like an epidemic in their community. There are initiatives being created to try to combat this. There's even even SPF clothes. So it kind of makes you wonder how these descendants of ancient Egyptians went through this process of clear de-evolution and devolved to the degree that they can no longer be out in 120 degree weather. Now they can barely be in 60 degree weather while everything else is progressing and going through a process of evolution according to their theory. Because the Theory of evolution, meaning all species in order to adapt to its environment and survive have to go through a process of evolution and taking on characteristics that will make them more able to be in the environment. They clearly lack that ability. Keep in mind, super lice and cockroaches even have the ability 
to evolve. So it raises the question as why is it that there's this one species on the face of the planet who is supposed to be a higher level thinking one mind you they lay claim to the creation of all medical technology and otherwise so you will wonder why it is that if the natural evolutionary process isn't going to take place why haven't they created anything to assist in that process so ultimately they're saying doctors are warning that even taking a selfie can emit the light that could age your face now I told you guys about the psychology of advertisement and articles and things of that sort. So when you see who's been presented on this, it's because this represents a certain demographic. So this is who that demographic is speaking to. And if you are someone of you melanated community, then you probably don't have this issue. Although I know there's going to be some people in our community who are going to feel compelled because they so badly want to belong and don't want to embrace their differences. So they'll go ahead and dismiss what I'm saying and say, well, we some burn too. And if you want to lay claim to that, then fine, you can lay claim to that. I haven't even seen any of my biracial nieces and nephew need to wear sunscreen in order to not burn. That's just the reality. But, but some of us feel compelled to present that argument and give stories of situations where they experience sunburns and, and that's fine if you feel the need to do that you need to only lay claim to it for yourself and not other people because by and large this isn't an issue that afflicts us that's not to say that we can't get skin cancer I've gone over this before the type of skin cancer that we get is on the parts of our bodies that are not exposed to the sun so therefore sunscreen wouldn't do anything to help you prevent sunburn but I just wanted to bring this story to you guys because it's really interesting when you think about these stories and then juxtapose it to the psychology of the dominant society who will sit here and tell you that even if you bear children with them that your child is somehow getting the best of both worlds when it doesn't seem like there's any best but I want to read you guys this statement that she said because it's really interesting you have to look at that psychology as well in addition to the systemic structure of this country in regards to whiteness but it says bianca revealed i used to work in investment banking when, but when i was 25 i had a career change and moved over to working in the cosmetic industry suddenly i had a huge wake-up call to just how bad my skin was she added previously i'd always loved being brown and having freckles and used to use sun beds regularly again i'll say she's added previously i'd always loved being brown now brown is almost the diametric opposite of white okay so that is a psychology as well you have this group of people who praising whiteness but then make statements and put billions of dollars into trying to erase that and be brown because she said she loved to be being brown now mind you she's never been brown a day in her life rest assured but because she spent money getting in a tanning bed that's going to subject her to the same skin damage that she fears she got from her phone she think that she's somehow brown but but this actually brings me back to the story that i did a while back where in japan there was a party amongst a bunch of college students all who sustained second and third degree burns just from being under uv lights and we're supposed to think that this is somehow a group of people that have any benefits in addition mind you to the six thousand disease genes it like it's, it's laughable at this point but you guys let me know what you think about this. I mean, I've done a lot of weird stories about how they get burned and things that cause skin aging. But lights from your phone or a computer or not even being able to watch television. I, I mean, what's going to happen next? What you're just going to walk around with um, fire suits on so that you're not exposed to anything? Because it sounds like the elements at this point is dangerous to them. 